Obviously, the sound starts from your soul, then goes to your hands. But if you don't take care about your instrument, or you don't make the right choice about it, your skills and all your efforts are useless. I've got a few rules when I'm looking for a new sound. Identify the sound you want, fat, sharp, crisp. If you ask for a rock, jazz or dry snare sound, for example, I cannot help you. These are not sounds. Test very well if what you own has a really this sound. Maybe one of your drums may give a completely different sound simply playing it in other way or with different heads or tuning. Try different drumstick and different drum heads on it. Avoid waste of money. If you found that you don't have what you need in your arsenal, put all yourself researching it. Don't saddle. Play everything is worth for you in any way. Don't be gear oriented. Remember, what is written on the top of a musical instrument doesn't make it sound. Choose with your ears, not with your eyes. As I say, the sound born probably inside you. But what do you use to play and to get it out? Drumstick, of course. They are the extension of our arms, and you have to choose them very well. If you want a big, full, fat sound, you must choose a big stick like 2B or 5B. Conversely, like 7A if you're looking for a sharp, quick sound. Needless to say, drumstick should be chosen firstly by your hand size. You must feel absolutely comfortable with them. Assume that you are in a drum shop to buy some drumsticks. Let's say that you choose 5A size. What do you do? You take a couple of pair, you pay them, and you say, see you. Wrong. The drumsticks have not all the same weight, even though the brand and the size are the same. You can find a gap even of 10 grams from one to the other. Drumstick builders give to you the choice to choose the same stick size with a different weight. Take advantage. So, when you buy new drumsticks, pick up a bunch of them from the expositor and test them on a practice pad. So, just choose your preferred weight. If you choose drumstick with a similar weight, you can replace or mix them when you break one. Pay attention also at the tip shape and materials. You can feel the differences mostly playing the right symbol but I will deepen this topic in a future session. If you hit the drum on the center of the head or close to the head, the sound changes significantly. To get the full-bodied sound of the drum, hit the head of the center. You'll get even less overtones. While moving toward the edges, you get a sharper sound with plenty of resonance. You can use these nuances to build some interesting grooves.